Welcome to our channel, today's topic is 5 ways a woman can manipulate a man. Now, before anyone gets the wrong idea, we're not talking about sinister mind games or harmful tactics. Instead, we're exploring playful strategies to influence or persuade, turning the tables in your favor in a fun and lighthearted way. It's all about mastering the art of subtle persuasion, not about control or exploitation. So, are you ready to become a master of subtle manipulation? Let's dive in. The first method is all about the power of appreciation. Appreciation, when genuine and expressed rightly, can be a powerful influencer in any relationship. It's like water to a plant, nurturing and encouraging growth. When a man feels appreciated, he feels seen and valued. This feeling can drive him to be more responsive to his partner's desires. You see, appreciation fosters positivity and a sense of value. It can motivate a man to go above and beyond, all with the aim of experiencing that sense of appreciation again. Let's put it into context. Imagine a man who often hears words of gratitude and admiration from his partner. He'll naturally want to do more of the things that earn him such praise. It's human nature. We gravitate towards people who make us feel good about ourselves. However, it's crucial to remember that appreciation must be sincere. It's not a manipulative tool, but a heartfelt expression of gratitude. Remember, appreciation should always be genuine, not a tool to get what you want. Let's move to the second method, the art of mystery. Maintaining an air of mystery isn't about playing games or being dishonest. It's about keeping a sense of intrigue alive, which can keep a man invested and interested. You see, humans are naturally curious creatures. We're drawn to what we don't fully understand. It's like reading a good book. The suspense keeps you turning the page. How does this translate into relationships, you may ask? Well, it's about being unpredictable in the best possible way. Whether it's surprising him with a spontaneous date or showing an unexpected side of your personality, these unpredictable moments can pique his interest and keep him guessing. Remember, it's not about withholding information or being secretive, but more about not laying everything on the table at once. It's about revealing yourself in layers, like peeling an onion. So, a little mystery can go a long way in keeping things interesting. The third method revolves around the influence of physical touch. Physical touch can be an incredibly powerful tool for persuasion, especially when used subtly and meaningfully. It's all about making a connection, about creating a bond that goes beyond words. This is not about force or discomfort, but rather about creating a moment of authenticity, a silent yet powerful communication. Imagine a simple warm hand on the shoulder, a reassuring squeeze of the hand, or a comforting pat on the back. These are not just random touches but thoughtful actions that communicate care, understanding, and companionship. They send a message of solidarity, of being there for each other. They create an emotional bond that is hard to break. So, don't underestimate the power of a timely, meaningful touch. Use it wisely, use it appropriately, and see how it can open doors, break down walls, and create connections that words often fail to do. Through touch, you can create a connection that speaks volumes. Our fourth method is the charm of vulnerability. Unveiling one's vulnerability is not about playing the victim card or seeking sympathy. It's about revealing your authentic self, complete with your strengths and weaknesses. In relationships, vulnerability is often seen as an invitation to safeguard, to nurture. It taps into a man's instinctive desire to protect and provide. When you share your fears, your doubts, or your dreams, you're not just opening a window to your soul, you're also giving him a chance to step up, to be your knight in shining armor. Vulnerability creates an emotional intimacy that's hard to break. It encourages a man to open up, to share his own doubts and fears, creating a mutual bond of trust and understanding. It's a subtle yet powerful way to influence his actions, steering him towards being more supportive and comforting. So ladies, don't be afraid to show your vulnerability. Vulnerability, when shared, can be a strong bonding element. Finally, our fifth method is the strategy of reciprocity. This principle is deeply rooted in our psychology. It's simple yet powerful. When we receive, we feel compelled to give back. It's like an invisible thread of balance, a silent agreement of exchange that holds our social fabric together. In the dance of influence, a woman can deftly use this strategy to guide a man's actions. It's not about keeping score or playing games. Instead, it's the art of creating a harmonious give-and-take dynamic. For instance, showing kindness can inspire kindness. Offering support in times of need can foster a deep sense of loyalty. It's important to remember, though, that genuine reciprocity comes from a place of sincerity, not manipulation. 
It's about nurturing a relationship where both parties feel valued and respected. When applied with genuine intent, the strategy of reciprocity can create a powerful bond. Reciprocity is a give-and-take strategy that can work wonders. So those were the five ways a woman can manipulate a man. Let's take a quick recap. First, the power of appreciation. A little gratitude goes a long way. Second, the art of mystery. Keep him guessing and intrigued. Third, the influence of physical touch. It creates a deep connection. Fourth, the charm of vulnerability. Showing your softer side builds trust. And fifth, the strategy of reciprocity. Giving and taking in balance. Remember, these methods are about influence and persuasion, not control or exploitation. Use them wisely.